Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we are going to start a series on C Sharp. So C Sharp is a programming language and in this series we will tell you all about the important concept of C Sharp. And using this concept you can utilize in your building the applications, right? So let's start the first video of C Sharp which is all about the introduction and then how we can install this and then how we can basically build our first application, first Hello World, Hello World application in C Sharp, right? So let's start with the introduction. Now C Sharp is basically a programming language just like uh, C, Java and you know like Ruby, Python. So just a, it's a programming language. Now it's it was developed by Microsoft. C Sharp runs on .NET framework or .NET Core. So .NET framework was the originally uh, framework uh, developed by Microsoft and C Sharp run to support on this .NET from framework. Right. But later on they also built the .NET Core recently and now uh, basically it's built on the .NET Core as well. So we can say that C Sharp basically runs on .NET Framework or .NET Core. Right. Now using C Sharp uh, you can create multiple applications. You can create desktop application and if you you can imagine itself because Microsoft is a uh, Microsoft provides the operating system and in that we have so many desktop applications right in fact uh, this also this PowerPoint is also a desktop application so we can create the desktop application as well now it's not that we can only create a desktop application in fact we can create the mobile application as well so uh, like Microsoft in fact has a Surface Duo and you know they have the Surface devices as well so to support that we have we can in fact create the applications as well using C Sharp uh, we can also create the web application as well so like you know .NET, ASP.NET and uh, in fact we can create the web services as well you can create the web pages as well so it support both desktop applications, mobile application, it also support the web applications as well. Via this we can create the games as well. We can create the you know VR, uh, VR games, VR virtuality applications uh, as well. So C Sharp is very powerful language and which uh, via which we can create the multiple applications. Right. So this was kind of initial introduction of the C Sharp. Now let's see that how we can basically uh, start the work in the C sharp like C sharp installation right so uh, basically the best way is to start with the Visual Studio ID because Microsoft uh, this is also owned by the Microsoft so Microsoft says that uh, that hey if you want to start work on the uh, C sharp or if you want to work or start on the dotnet framework or dotnet core so just install this Visual Studio and then we can basically install the different different workload according to our requirement right workload are basically let's say if you want to create your mobile application so you will basically install a different set of tools or different set of libraries if you want to create a desktop application so you will create a different set of applications you will create a, you will basically install a different kind of libraries similarly if you just want to have the console application so for that you would want a different libraries so basically diff using the different as per the requirement we can install the different workload but the important point is that you need to install the ID and that ID why that ID will install everything right so let's start the ID first so I have provided a uh, link here uh, this is so if you go here uh, this is the same link now here uh, it basically tells all about the Visual Studio so uh, you can just install this uh, Visual Studio so here we need to just click on this download Visual Studio and then uh, it will basically you know ask you the location so yep you can just provide the location and you can install the application so uh, this is just an executor uh, now you need to click on the executor and then after that it will basically uh, you know start the installation now the point is that uh, I have already installed the Visual Studio but let's see what it says so it will basically uh, should say that it's already run okay it says before you can get started we need to set a few things so that you need you can configure your installation so yeah let's continue with that yeah. uh, because it was already installed for me so now it is giving me the option 
that uh, update this already installed this one or update the visual studio community 2019 right so what for you what you can do because for you if you are launching it first time it won't be the case for you so you need to install the application and install the visual studio 2019 right don't install the 2017 install this visual studio community 2019 version so once you install the application then basically you should see the option modify or you will directly or you will directly see the application once you click once you install the application so click on here and it via that basically you can install the different different workload as per your requirement right so workload is basically this screen that what you want to install or what you want to work on so like let's say if you are working on web development so you will install this one asp.net and web development uh, if you are starting work on like Azure development, so you will install application, you will install this workload, right? But for the starting one, what you need to install, uh, you can install this application, this workload, .NET Desktop Development. So this is basically to create the desktop application, right? So as per your requirement, right? If you are developing mobile application, so what you need to do, you will basically create the mobile development with C Sharp. Now, if you want to create the UWP application, so UWP application is kind of new framework uh, uh, developed by Microsoft and now it's a new workload. So based on your requirement, you can basically select the workload. So what you can do, uh, ideally I would, I would recommend to install the, this, wor this workload, this one, .NET desktop development or this one. Or if you have a specific requirement like, uh, you know, like web development, so you can just install this one. And in fact, if you see that it is written there, this is web and cloud. So these all are related to the web and cloud, like uh, Node.js development, Python, Azure, this one. Uh, desktop and for desktop and mobile, these are the framework, right? And after that, what you can do, after that you need to, uh, you, you need to click on this one, modify. So let's say if I install a particular one, let's say this one right so you need to this option should be selectable right install while downloading and after that you can click on modify so what will happen it will basically it will basically download because if you see because these were already installed for me so that is why it is saying clicked but as soon as i clicked which is not installed so it is giving me the option that total space required this one it means if i need to install this python development so it will uh, it will require this space right and it is also giving the installation details as well that what it will do now because i don't want uh, to specifically change on to this one so for that what you need to do if you are the beginner so you will just click on this one and this one right and then it will keep on showing you the total space required generally it's in gbs so and you can click on this one install by downloading if you see that there are two options download all and then install so what it will do it will basically download all the softwares for you, all the libraries, and then it will install the application. But the recommended way is that you should install while downloading. So it's intelligent enough to, uh, you know, whenever as soon as it downloads the option, then it keep on installing and other other libraries or other tools are still downloading. All right. So then you can click on this modify option and then it will install for you. All right. So uh, once it is done, once, uh, once you have, because what you have done, you have installed the Visual Studio. You have uh, you have installed the workload by clicking on this modify. So because this was already installed for me, that is why it should modify. For you, it will directly launch this. It for you, it will direct directly launch this workload option, right? So once it is there, then you can just launch the application. So either it will either you can launch from here or what you can do, you can basically go here and you can select Visual Studio and start and then you can see option here like uh, Visual Studio 2019 and you can click on here and then we need to create a new application right so from here you can basically create a new project and uh, here uh, you can create a new project so it will give you all the options or all the templates that you can create so from here you can choose that what application you want to create or what project you want to create now uh, you can see here that it basically support a various languages now because c sharp because we are working on c sharp so we'll choose the c sharp language now it is also giving the platform that you want to create so where you want to create this application whether you want to create the android application you want to create the azure you want to create the ios you want to create linux or what 
so my platform is windows right so i want to create on the windows as well so this is something that we can choose from here now uh, uh let's say what application you want to create whether you want to create the console application or desktop application so what's the difference if you see desktop application is like visual studio on which you are working this is desktop application because here will work console application means that you won't see anything on the ui you won't see anything in the ui it's just that it will keep on running in the background you know it could be service or it could be some background application or it could be some timer some background task or similar to that right now the other options is like we can create the games as well it also support the iot applications as well uh, we can create some kind of library we can create the machine learning libraries as a well. machine learning project also we can create right so as per our requirement in fact you can see that here we have the option of uwp or web as well now as per requirement you can create so just we are just starting this one so we'll basically create the console application now again here uh, we can basically choose as per our requirement so if you see here this is dotnet framework and this is dotnet core framework so if you see just read the uh, description of this one this says that a project for creating a command line application and a project for creating the command line application that can run on dotnet core on windows linux or mac os as well right so basically uh, if if your target is just windows so you can just click on this one dotnet framework but my uh, my suggestion my recommendation is that basically uh, .NET core is kind of latest and it also support on multiple platform so yeah you can create this one or if your specific requirement is only of the windows so you can just create this .NET framework as well right so uh, let's say if we create this uh, .NET core so click on this one and then go to next and then here you can write your uh, you know like your uh, project name let's say hello world application hello world application and uh, okay let's write this one and uh, here let's say my change this one and then click on create So now if you see that uh, it, this console application will uh, will give you this structure and this is our Visual Studio right where we will basically work uh, when you are working in C Sharp. So this is our main file which is the program.cs. So this is our main file program.cs where, where basically the starting point of the application. So now if you see uh, that this is what the uh, this is what we created hello world application so it says that uh, this is your name space this is your project name and then in this project name this is your class so by default it provides you the class which is the program uh, program.cs so the extension of this c sharp uh, c sharp class is .cs right and this is your this is your entry point of the uh, of the start which is main so like in java also we have the you know static void main and similar similar in text so if you have already work on java so you will you you can basically simulate to that you will find it very easy c sharp is just like java just we have little bit difference right so this is a starting point of the application and here they are writing console load write line hello world so console dot write line is basically to print any specific thing that you want so right now we are printing the hello world application so what you can do uh, you can just press the f5 or you can click on this hello world application so just click on this one and then it will it will basically build the application for you yeah so now you can see that here it has printed this hello world and uh, that's that's all the our first application and if you want you can just close this one let's say if you want to uh, change something uh, so we can say uh, hello world uh, i am learning c sharp right and then you can again run the application and then yeah you can see here that hello world i am learning uh, c sharp it has been printed here right so yeah that's what uh, 
uh, that is all about the introduction in the C sharp what we have learned so we basically saw the introduction of this one that to what is uh, what is C sharp and then we also saw that how we can install the C sharp so we installed the visual studio we installed the workload and then we created our first hello world console application right so this was the first video in the C sharp series now in the next videos we will basically see the different different syntaxes or different concepts that we can uh, that that we should learn to work on the C sharp language right so uh, that's all for this video and uh, thanks everyone for watching the video and uh, if you have if you have liked the video then please like it and if you want to learn more sim similar to that so please subscribe to our channel thank you